Hey guys, welcome back for another Dokkan Battle video. Uh, today we're going over Frieza First Form Glacial Precedent with Prestige. So this is really awesome. I really, really love this card. If you guys haven't been following me on the Facebook group, uh, this card actually allowed me to complete the Super Battle Road for Extreme Technique type. He is a perfect replacement for Broly on that team. It's phenomenal. Now, this guide is going to be more of a linking guide just because, it, you know, it doesn't really make sense for me to do a full team building guide because there's way, way, way too many damn categories um, or, or units that will be able to run really well on this team. Uh, Frieza does not need to be your primary unit on the team, but he definitely can be and should be because his defense is ridiculous. Um, and he is just such a hard hitter. Uh, for instance, just so you know, that new Goku event, while he does have the perfect advantage over the new Super Saiyan Goku event because he's an extreme type and a technique type, Goku is a super type and a hero type or a, a, an agility type. So uh, Frieza has will do the most damage to him, but I, you can literally one shot Goku when you have him at Super Tech 10, all um, all do ba base dupe system unlocked. I do have bottom right, but I've brought friends too. Um, I think the only time is when I had a friend with base dupe system, then he had like a hair of health left, and uh, the second unit ended up finishing him off. But this unit is ridiculously good. Um, we're gonna go ahead and talk about it now. If you want to go, I did I did the full um, for his uh, SSR form and his, to his TUR form before my uh, data download video. So this one we're just gonna talk about the actual stats of the unit. Um, leader ability, extreme class key plus three HP attack and defense plus 120%. That is unbridled, which means he could take the, pl the, the, the place of Rose, uh, which honestly, I'm, I'm kind of upset that they did do that. Uh, I feel like, you know, if they gave him HP attack and defense plus 100% for extreme types, key plus three, that probably would have been a smarter move. That way it would have left Rose a little bit more uh, relevant in terms of the meta, because now, I mean, while he is good and you're going to want to run him on a team, you're, you're almost not, you don't need to run him on a on a villains team anymore uh but it's cool because you know now you have two different arcs you have a frieza arc stuff that you can do with with frieza units uh and you have a uh, uh an actual future trunks arc type thing that you could run two separate units with but still it kind of it's kind of upsetting uh just because now rose uh, his leader ability is kind of like you know pushed to the side for this new frieza uh, if a super attack is a uh, death beam, raises attack and defense, causes immense damage to the enemy. That's unbridled, raises a defense, attack and defense. So what I would recommend doing is giving him a mix of crits and additionals. That's what I did. Uh, I gave him uh, crits and additionals, so that way they were about even. And the reason I did that is because if he gets double super attacks off up until he's in his golden form. Once he's in his golden form, it doesn't matter. But until he's in his golden form, uh, he will continuously raise his attack. So if he gets a double super attack off, his attack's going to do that much more damage. But you still want the guy to crit. His passive skill, Smile, that summons death. Attack and defense plus 80%, recovers 11% HP at the start of the turn, transform when conditions are met. Now, his passive skill changes per phase that he's in. Um, his attack will go up a little bit while his defense goes down a little bit. Just so you know, so this is his first form, so if we jump all the way over to his third form, uh, his third form attack plus 100%, defense plus 40%, all the way to his golden form, which is just attack plus 120%, recovers 15% HP at the start of the turn, key plus 12, and performs a crit hit only once. Um, in his uh, super attack when he goes to his final last form is immense damage with great chance to stun the enemy Which is really freaking awesome by the way, uh, but we're gonna go back over here We're gonna really stick to the first form just because it's what everyone's gonna start with at the beginning of the turn It's very very hard to get him to golden form not hard, but it, you're, you're pretty much gonna kill your enemy before you do it Anyway, uh Let's see over here. Living skills are our strongest guy in space, the universe's most malevolent, metamorphosis, big bad bosses, thirst for conquest, fear and faith, and fierce battle. Uh, he pretty much re retains the same things uh, up until he goes to golden form, and then metamorphosis is replaced with prodigies. Actually, um, the actually final form is also replaced with prodigies. So uh, final form and golden form uh, replace metamorphosis with prodigies. Everything else r pretty much remains the same. Uh, pretty awesome unit, though. I really do love this unit. He's part of the Resurrected Warriors, Movie Bosses, and Full Power categories. Um, that doesn't change when he changes through his forms. Uh, next attacking after final form. So, uh, ma 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 Max uh, stats are going to be HP of 11,415, attack of 11,870, and defense of 5,080. Uh, base dupe system is HP of 13,415, attack of 13,870, and defense of 7,080. Um, now, I highly recommend giving him base tube system. Obviously, Dokkan Fest exclusive. Uh, his HP of fully unbridled is going to be insane. HP 16,000, attack 17,000, defense 10,000. Insane, 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 awesome unit. I freaking love this unit so much. You have no idea how much I actually love playing with this unit. It's awesome. Um, but, okay, let's go ahead into the linking guide. So, we have over here in terms of linking guide. Let me see over here. Let's do the... Um, uh, where is my... There we go. Okay, cool. 
So in terms of best linking buddies in games, overall best linking buddies in game is going to be Frieza Clan stuff. This is the Frieza final form. This is going to be the one that you can pull from the actual banner. He's not a Doken Fest exclusive. Don't feel like you need to summon for him on this banner. Uh, he shares big bad bosses, the universe's most malevolent, strongest clan in space, thirst for conquest, fierce battle. Um, very phenomenal, awesome unit. We love this unit. Uh, this unit's actually really freaking good. Uh, we're also going to talk about the Kaioken Goku in the next video, because I'm going to be releasing both of these today. And I was going to do this video to be released on um, Friday, Friday or Saturday. Uh, I just, I recorded it, it just sounded like garbage, so I just said screw it, and I had so much stuff going on over the weekend, I wasn't able to get it done. So this is why we're doing this now, uh, so late in the game. Uh, but this is a really good freeze, a very, very good freeze you want to link with him. If you, I would recommend running Korra, though. Uh, the physical Korra is probably going to be the best one you can link with him. He hits off every single one of his attack links, by the way, and Metamorphosis. So he has metamorph uh, Metamorphosis, Big Bad Bosses, Universe Most Love, and Strongest Clan in Space, Thirst for Conquest, and Fierce Battle. The only thing about this Korra is he does not have Prodigies. So that kind of stinks. But um, outside of that, I mean, he's still a very, very good and viable unit. Up until he gets up to final, Frieza gets up to final form, he is going to be your number one best linking guide for him. Uh, for a mono tech team, the TUR variant of the Korra is going to be in the next one. Metamorphosis, Big Bad Boss, Universe, Most Mono, Strongest Guide in Space, Thirst for Conquest, and Fierce Battle. So yes, he does have Fierce Battle. So these two are going to be best for an extreme team. So if you're an extreme technique team. So for instance, if you actually fit dupes or something now this core isn't great attack plus 90 percent but his, his attack multiplier suit so it's, it's actually 150 percent 12 key multiplier um uh, for, but that's not that it's not that bad he doesn't really do anything else uh, other than that decent amount of damage uh, he shares what only a two key link with this Frieza so you're really gonna need to have some support units there uh, I don't know exactly how hard this core hits I would definitely give him crits though crits is definitely gonna be the way you want to go with him um if you're gonna run him on the team next to the Frieza but both of these guys are going to be definitely the, the two that you want to run. Uh, I, I think he's, even though he's older, his Doken Awakening has made him a little bit more relevant again. Especially now because you have Frieza who can be a leader. Which is really good because that Broly, while I loved him, he is such a glass cannon. Because while he dishes, dishes out so much damage, I easily cleared 3 million damage with the guy. He just can't take a hit. And this Frieza definitely makes up for that. I'm really glad that they made him a technique character. <laughs> um, in terms of one thing I want to talk about, in terms of like really cool teams, uh, I know I did get this from DeFree's video, so shout out to DeFree. Also, shout out to DokonBattleBuilder.com and uh, the Dokon Battle Wiki. This is where I'm getting all my information from. Uh, DeFree brought, brought up a great point over here. Um, you could finally run a really nice full Frieza team. Uh, now, these are all the units that you could currently run on that team. I think there's also, the, uh, there's also an Angel Frieza in here. Uh, I think he is the agility one, isn't he? Um, but he's an SR type, so we would have to go and find him. I'm just going to throw him in there really quick just to, just to get him in there for a point. Um, so yeah, there we go. So this is a, the full Frieza team that you can possibly run. Now, I'm not going to really recommend running this Frieza in here. He is cool. Um, key plus three attack and defense will 50% for seven turns for the start of the turn. Is it horrible? I think he is the free-to-play one, though. Uh, I wouldn't really recommend running him on the team, but you can have him in there. But you could, this is literally the full Frieza Force team that you can now run. Literally just nothing but Frieza, uh, Frieza family. Uh, you also could throw King Cold in there, too. Uh, so keep that in mind. And you also have first form Koros that are around. So, I mean, I'm not putting every single one of them in here. Um, but what I would probably recommend doing is something like this. Um, we'll probably take this Korra out just for now. Uh, yeah, you know, let's just get him out of there. Um, it would either be a uh, full power Frieza with final form Frieza linked together because they share five link skills, which is actually really decent. Two key uh, and 25% attack all the time and big bad bosses, which is 25 attack and defense with HP 80% or below. Or you could run, which I would actually probably do a little bit more than, than not. Uh, that is not the golden Frieza I wanted. Uh, it is the tech, well, not the tech, the intelligence uh, angel golden Frieza because that, that one links very, very well with this uh, Golden Frieza. So you have these two linked together, and they share four link skills, key plus four, and 30% attack buff. And then, obviously, you're going to have Korra and the Tech Frieza, the Tech Go the tech First Form Frieza, with the transformation mechanic running together, because they were really good. Obviously, you're going to need to have another uh, of the Tech Freezes on the other side. Um, you can run him alongside, uh, uh, let's see, this Final Form Frieza, because, again, what we talked about in the linking guide before, he does hit off a lot of his link skills. Uh, I think Fierce Battle is the only one. Uh, no, he does have Fierce Battle. Uh, so he's just missing one from what he links with Korra. Actually, that's probably Metamorphosis is what he's uh, missing over here. Uh, but this guy, I'm pretty sure he has Prodigies. So when he gets the final form, well, they won't link on final form. But when he gets the golden form, they'll at least link with Prodigies ad on, on that ad additionally. So that can be really good too. Um, but overall, this is a very nice setup to actually run a full scale Frieza team. Um, in terms of Monotech team, who he links best with, we had to do three or more, because uh, we already talked about the core is going to be his best linking buddy. The next one that I would link with him is probably going to be the Golden Frieza, just for his ability to tank. 
Um, he does share three links with him, and he does some decent damage also. Uh, 15%, so 30% attack, two key. Uh, Merge the Masu does link with him as well for two key, and 15% attack all the time. And then Big Bad Boss is for 25% if HP is 80% uh, or below. Uh, the LR, Zim Rose, and Zamasu is going to be key plus two fierce battle and big bad bosses, which isn't horrible. Uh, pretty good. Plus, it's an LR, so these two are going to be some decent links together. If you happen to have the LR, I highly recommend running them together. Just because he could tank, he could dish out damage, and he heals tanks and dishes out damage. Um, outside of that, we have the TUR variant, which we're not going to really talk about. Uh, and then you have the Super Boo, or yeah, the Super Boo over here, who has Metamorphosis, Fierce Battle, and Fear and Faith. So, a little bit of attack buff, a little bit of key buff, and Metamorphosis for HP regeneration. Obviously, not that bad. He has a really nice setup for an extreme technique team. Um, in terms of me, what I ran in Super Battle Road, this is the exact team that I ran. Uh, I ran Golden Frieza paired with First Form Frieza, the transformation mechanic. Uh, on off of primary rotation, I had Merge Zamasu and um, Mass Saiyan. My Merge Zamasu is 100%, Golden Freeze is 100%, my Cell was 100%, uh, and my Mass Saiyan, I think I had three Dupas unlocked. The third one, uh, other than the top left and bottom right, I had the bottom left for defensive purposes because he hit it with enough damage. So that's what I did with my team. And then I kept the two cells linked together because of the key plus three on his passive with attack and defense buff, um, key plus one. So that way they're always getting off super attacks. And then they have, I mean, it's not great attack buffs, uh, but you have big bad boss as a messenger from the future. Um, it, and once like he started dying off, if I, when, you know, it, it wasn't that big of a deal to have these two together. Thing is that Frieza doesn't really link well with anyone else. Um, on here except for Merge Zamasu. I think there were a couple rounds where I ran the TUR Frieza for my, with my friend with Merge Zamasu uh, just because I couldn't get the cells together. Um, and it wasn't that bad because Merge Zamasu does tank pretty damn well. But yeah, that's the Super Battle Road team that I did run um, if you guys were interested in knowing about that. Uh, but that, that's definitely an awesome team. No more freaking Broly and you don't need uh, LR Zamasu in order to do that. Maybe I should make that a separate video for you guys so that way you know people can actually see it and, and realize what's going on with that. But, uh, yep, it's mentioned in this video. <laughs> uh, in terms of best for, I think this is the Resurrected Warrior, uh, you have Korra, who is a nice, who has a nice passive for uh, for allies. Uh, attack plus 30%, extreme class plus 2. So, uh, yeah, all allies get attack plus 30%, ex extreme class gets key plus 2. Uh, very good for Frieza. Three link skills with four key and attack plus 15%. Obviously, I would run him off primary rotation, but he can link with him. We already talked about uh, the Golden Frieza. Uh, the Golden Frieza on the Agility, the Technique, and the Intelligence one all link for the same. And we talked about the, uh, the Angel Golden Frieza. Um, two key, 30% uh, attack buff. So these guys are not that bad. Uh, obviously, you, I would prefer to run the Tech one if you could help it. If you're going up against an event for like an Intelligence one, and you want to run this Frieza as a leader because you're an extreme team and you don't have a Rosé, then maybe you would want to bring the Golden Frieza. But same time, he does do uh, damage reduction like 80%, so it wouldn't matter too much. Uh, but yeah, this is his Resurrected Warrior team. Obviously, the main unit is going to be the Angel Golden Frieza. So obviously, if you're running this, you're probably just going to run this Frieza here. Uh, like, let's just do this really quick just to talk about it. Um, this this will probably be your primary rotation, just like this. Uh, you're gonna have your uh, your you yours and your friends Golden Angel Frieza. And then on one side of the rotation, you're gonna bring your Tech Golden Frieza, and then on the other side, you're gonna bring Frieza first run with the transformation mechanic. Uh, and then you're probably gonna run something like this Korra over here for support, and maybe some other units for support. I think it was like the King Piccolo. Uh, so you have you have a decent amount of people. You can yes, it is King Piccolo. You can throw up in there if you want to. Um, so that's a pretty decent team that you could run. Uh, obviously, it's a Frieza-oriented team, so Resurrected Warriors, because of the leader, uh, it's very viable to run him on that team. Uh, in terms of mo uh, was this movie bosses, this one is, yes, this is movie bosses team. Uh, the two cores we already talked about, those are going to be the two primary ones you're going to want to link with him. But uh, in interestingly enough, he does a link with the two Janembas. Uh, Janemba, Metamorphosis, Big Bad Bosses, Fierce Battle, Fear and Faith, so not bad, two key. 15% um, attack buff all the time, Metamorphosis, which, which is uh, the, the HP regeneration, and Big Bad Boss is when HP goes down below 80%, which is very good, and the same thing with his technique form. So he hits off a very nice, rounded, well-rounded set of link skills with Janemba. So those two do hit it off very well if you're lacking the two cores. Uh, so just keep that in mind. You have, you have some decent options for Movie Boss's team if you want to run them all together. Um, last but not least, here we go. This is for the full power team on the JP side. I tried to keep this uh, together as best as I could for you. Um, so 
you have Frieza over here. You have his full power form, which uh, I think you guys have kind of understood that he does link well with his Frieza, other Frieza variants. I think that boss is universe most malevolent, strongest clan in space, fierce battle. Um, outside of that, I mean, uh, the Android uh, 21 links for four link skills with him. Uh, those are Metamorphosis, Big Dad Bosses, Fierce Battle, Fear and Faith. Uh, the Frieza clan, which we already talked about how he links with them very well. Uh, and then he has uh, the Omega Shenron, which is Big Bad Bosses, Fierce Battle, and Fear and Faith. And I think this is the other Omega Shenron, which is the same exact thing. Um, so, a very nice link skill set that he has with a whole bunch of his different, uh, with different units around in this game. He is a very viable contender on multiple teams, uh, especially because he's just an extreme type leader. And you know how, you, you guys, for, for if you've been following me, you kind of know how to do team building guides. So, I don't really need to, I don't feel like I need to go into full in-depth guides with you, uh, when it comes to doing extreme, like, extreme team building or super team building just because, uh, you know who links together, especially from all the videos that I have put out. Um, but right now, this is what I'm telling you in terms of this unit. Phenomenal unit, great defense, great attack. Uh, the HP regeneration until he gets the final form is a fantastic trait to have. Uh, and he's pretty much, he, he can be a staple in almost every single one of your teams. And I highly recommend using him on Super Battle Road instead of the Broly. Um, because he is the 120 leader, he's a tech leader. Uh, and he doesn't have that, that Rosé restriction of having each individual attribute type. Uh, but yeah guys, that's it for the Frieza video. Apologize for not being able to get this out for you sooner. I really want to get it out for you the day that the banner went live. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't do that. But here's the video. I will be dropping the Super Saiyan Goku video later on today. And I actually have a whole bunch of stuff planned out because I am so far behind on the amount of videos that I need to do. Um, so I'm definitely going to get all that out to you. But anyway guys, thank you again for joining me here today. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new. And I'll catch you all later. Peace.